Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to Frieden episode 27. It's called Era, An Era of Humans. So I don't have anything to say today. I'm just gonna jump straight in. I guess the only thing I have to say in my intro is that I can't believe this is the second to last episode. On one hand, I'm like, I really hope they don't take too long to come out with the second season. But on the other hand, I feel they should take all the time that they need so that they can just keep this quality because it's been very consistent and very fantastic. In the live chat on Twitch, we have Mike, Rodriguez, Modru, Hunter's here, Antonio. Um, I'm not sure where Knox went. I saw him at the start. Did I? Who else? Doji is here. Mm. Yes, welcome everyone. Sotos is dealing with some drama in his friend group. They're, you know, video chatting, seeing if they can sort that out. <laughs> oh God, I'm more than happy to work through issues with my friends, but do not video call me. I don't know. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's jump in. I'm not sure if anyone has, has been able to see the episode so far because it just came out like 39 minutes ago. Nande! <laughs> they literally just met. And he's like, You're already pissed. What did I do? I, I didn't see you for days. I'm really curious about that old guy. Like, he he's coming all the time and saying, I have nothing left to teach you. Like, who was he? Who was he teaching? Is he saying that out of habit or. Uh, I'm at 156。Maybe it reminds her of mm. No, she wants a head pat. Hayakushiro。これ、重症だね。一級試験は3年に1度。電検。お前みたいな老いぼれに3年はないかもしれないからな。確かに。<laughs> <笑>いいした。お前は本当に生意気な若造だ。バッ。わしはお前に何の剣を思う時代でいない。きっと昔わしがそういう生意気な若造だったからだ。よ。あ、しく。今日は薬美か何かなのか。あちの人たちに聞いて回ったんだけど。ここならどんなに壊れたか。ああ。見せてみろ。このバラバラの物体は何だ。まさか杖なのか。こんなゴミを汚されても困る。
and even though they're legit, she's legitimately sad and uh, somewhat angry, right? So it's not like her feelings aren't. But a snack will help. Just a hate path and a snack. That's really most of the time. That's what we need. Hmm? Oh my, Freedom to know. でしいか。いっそのことを慎重してくれた方がこっちも儲かるってのにな。大事にしろよ。そう。おやしょ。How do you sleep on your ear like that? It's so Trying to understand each other. That's what's important. And snacks. Mm. Mm. Wait! The green haired Yubel could have still gotten Zenze even if Friren wasn't there. And the Denken, he was part of everyone working together, and the most difficult one for them to defeat was Friren, the copy. So, my point is, even if Friren wasn't there, then the Freedom copy wouldn't be there. And uh, it, Denkins was saying everyone should work together. It wasn't just... If Freedom wasn't there, at least nine would have passed. Uh, you never know for sure. But I don't think it's... And if too many passed this year... Other years, no one passed. So doesn't it kind of balance out? Mm. 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 セリ、ああ、やセリ。それに私はフリーレン様を試すような器ではありません。人目見て分かりました。彼女は魔力を制限しています。フリーレンと戦うことはこの先一生ないだろう。それがたとえ勝てる戦いであっても、やはり人間の
花畑を出す魔法プラン目から教わった魔法か実にくだらない不合格だそう I thought maybe she'd be annoyed with the fact that Freyaren knew and then you won't even stand your ground when I mock you But she didn't do it alone. But that's not really predicting what she said. It's just like, of course, that's what she would say. Because, of course, she wasn't alone. That's what this whole story is about.君は覚えていないだろうけど昔僕は一度だけ君と会ったことがある。いやね。全然覚えてない。だろうね。子供の頃森に薬草を取りに入った時、うちに迷った。その時一人のエルフが人里の方向を教えてくれた。本当に方向
that must feel like crap though, right? You pause or fail based on an interview and literally you just walk in there and then you're like, ah, <laughs> fail. <laughs> but I do understand. And the Freden herself says, you know, her intuition is never wrong, so. Well, I, I love the way that it was built up, though, the part about her seeing the fluctuations. That dawned on me like a second to oh, if this was the last episode and it ended like that with her saying goodbye like that I would have but at least we have one more week I really like everyone's uh, personality and then like we got to see Fern express her frustration and stuff and at the same time we saw what Freren was doing and then at the end, uh, she saw her staff and she was like, and then Freden was already sleeping and the next day she didn't even say anything. So there's like this quiet understanding between the main characters mm, and like deep bonds. I love, because it's a main theme in the show, like I love that I can see these deep bonds just deepening further. We could see them take shape at the beginning and then just kind of go deeper and deeper. Oh, but that was really, really good. And um, Yuki also watches Freren and the, she, because she's now here, she's been here for a few weeks, she's been watching on my Crunchyroll uh, and she really, really loves Freren too. There's a lot of shows that I like a lot and then I want to read the manga, right? Usually I don't because I want to keep my reactions anime only. But so for example, um, The Promised Neverland, Hunter Hunter, like... I, I could have read Hunter x Hunter because I'm reading, I'm up to chapter 100 now. I could have read Hunter x Hunter from where the anime ended. But it's really nice to start from the beginning and kind of see a comparison, right? So, I'm sure the manga has stuff that's been cut out from the anime. As good as this adaptation has been, I definitely think it would be worth reading the manga from chapter 1. So we're, okay there. An Ear of Humans. So it looks like here it says episode direction was ka hi im Anim animation direction reiko nagasawa was the chief storyboard was nobuhide karia screenplay tomohiro suzuki and the manga chapters was 56 57 and 58 partially so i was correct 56 I said somewhere between 50 and, but my calculation was 56. Eh, eh, eh. So that's actually my favorite way to adapt manga in general is two per episode. That's the ideal. Sometimes it should go a little over. Sometimes it sh should be a little less because it depends on the content covered in two chapters. Um, but generally that that is the ideal for me because it doesn't go too fast but not too slow either. But obviously it depends from one story to the next it's just since i've been watching when i just started doing reactions and around the time i was watching dr stone season one i was comparing a lot of shows and how they were doing their adaptations like what was the amount especially with one piece doing like less and less and um but i came to the conclusion that usually two episodes two chapters per episode is the ideal but some anime rush certain parts whereas i feel like this never did that it never felt like let's rush through the slower parts like let's say between one exam and the other um what i really like about the show is it, it kept very consistent with not only the visuals but the pacing and everything okay so i don't want to um talk for too long because these videos ideally should be uh, not too long 20 minutes, 19 minutes, so yeah. Honkus went up to 28 minutes, so maybe anything from 25 and less is fine. But I do remember some of my beginning episode reactions got blocked because it was too long. So let me just finish up.
And thank you guys, and I'll see you next week. This episode, if I had to give it a score, I would give the whole season a 10. I can't see it otherwise. It's just so perfect as a whole. <laughs> okay, see you next time. Bye. Wait, don't blur. Yeah. <laughs>